Step one, boil 500 milliliters of water. Open the package. Flakes, soup base, noodle block of the kimchi flavored soup. When the water reaches the boil, add your noodles and your flakes. Open a little bit bigger, add your soup base. When it's cooked to its proper consistency, turn off the heat. Get yourself a bowl. That's it. Hello, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. It's me, John, today, and I'm going to do another ramen video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a ramen video for the Nongshim brand kimchi flavored noodle soup, seasoned with real kimchi. Kimchi, if you don't know, is a pickled spicy cabbage. I think it is popular in both Korea and Japan, uh, but uh, I've had it before and I like it. You can, it usually comes uh, by cabbage. It's usually pickled cabbage. But some kimchi is uh, radishes as well. Either one, usually spicy to varying degrees. Let's see if this one's spicy at all. Now when you, when you cook this, this is made with 500 milligrams of water. You boil that and then you add this package which had like little flakes in it, which I believe were like little pieces of dried cabbage so it's like freeze-dried kimchi then you have your powdered soup base probably had some spices and cabbage in there as well more of a powder substance uh had to like really tear this one open to actually get it to pour in because it was like clumping together uh, if i get that part of the video and you'll see but anyway here's the finished product See, it's like a, it's a little light red colored broth. So let's see how good this noodle soup is. If it tastes good, if it's spicy, all that, then we'll give it a nice review. If you had some fresh pickled kimchi added to this, it'd probably really enhance it as well. But I don't. So I'm just going to try it as is. Here we go. A bit salty, which you know, all around is very salty. We added a little spice to it, but not a whole lot. Temperature wise, it's still very hot. We get the good chunk of that freeze-dry kimchi. I do get a bit of a, a cabbage flavor to this. Not overwhelming. I'm wondering what they use to spice this. Let's find out. Hmm, kimchi flakes are Napa cabbage, red chili pepper, garlic, salt, ginger, anchovy extract, beef extract, beef fat, beef stock, black pepper, cabbage, leek extract, interesting, malic acid, that usually makes things sour, but this doesn't taste sour at all, mushroom extract, onion, radish extract, red chili pepper, rice, whatever sand lance concentrate is, 
seaweed extract, shrimp, soybeans. So sand lance is some type of fish. I'll we'll have to look that up. Sand lance. Interesting. So, like beef, shrimp, soy, fish, all that stuff in here. Wow. There's a lot of ingredients other than kimchi. So just say kimchi flavored, but like it's a whole bunch of other stuff. And I guess that's why I can't really pinpoint what flavor I'm tasting. It's like salty and kind of like umami, like a meaty flavor. There's so many different like meaty flavors in there. With the beef, the shrimp, the anchovy, and the fish, and everything. It's really hard to like pinpoint exactly what it is. Though I get a little bit of flavor of cabbage whenever I have like a, a decent size of those flakes in there. Overall, I don't get a ton of uh, cabbage or kimchi flavoring. Overall, I think this is a, a good ramen. It tastes good. It's, it's got a nice umami, meaty, salty flavor to it. It's not really spicy at all. You get like a little bit of spice hits here and there. But uh, it's not going to be on anybody's list of spicy noodles or spicy anything. But uh, it tastes just fine. The most disappointing thing is that it just doesn't have as much kimchi flavor as I would have hoped. Anyway, if I have to give this a rating out of 10, I'm going to go ahead and give it a high 7. Let's go with 7.65. It's on the higher end of 7. 7.65 out of 10. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. As always, enjoy yourselves and have a great day. Bye.